Can I, uh... I'm taking this with me. Destroying you! Oh, that's what happens when I put you through the thing. <laughs> well, it said it would destroy it. I don't know really what I expected. <laughs> hey there, observation team. Test subject 667 here. Welcome to my habitat. And welcome to Portal. Now, I recently had a request by an uh, innocent entity over here to... Uh, try the portal games or play through the portal games on the channel now truth be told I have already played the portal games but long long ago before I even had this channel before the lab was even in existence and it has been a very very long time I mean I remember enjoying it when I played it but that's all I really remember about it well you know, beyond a few things that constantly you get in memes. So, I thought, why not? Let's return to this game. Let's get into it. New game. Oh, here I am. Here I am in my little room. Hello. Oh, that must have been where I was sleeping. That doesn't look very comfortable. Um. Oh, thank you. Uh, game for the directions. Wazd to move. Yeah. Hello, and again, welcome to the Aperture Science Computer Hello! Thank you! I don't think it has. Now, what specimen was that? Okay. I hope not to me. Okay, I will refrain from touching that which you said. Oh, look at me! Oh, and look at my interesting footwear. Oh, these are the uh, these are the things that I wear to prevent me from from suffering fall damage. Look at me. Here I am. I mean, with no mirrors in this place, how would I... Well, I guess I wouldn't shave. Well, maybe I would shave, but not in a way that would need a mirror. Um, okay, what else can I do? How, how do I... Um, okay. Ah, this is how I pick things up. Hello, this is very interesting. My clipboard of things that I need to remember. I know just what to do with that. There we go. Hello, camera! Look at me! Are you looking down my... my... Uh, uh, my decolletage? I say decolletage because um, the character I'm playing is in fact female. I could see that. And has a decolletage. Um... Oh! Button! I stand on button. That opens door. But door closed now. Oh no! Oh, thank you for telling me how to pick up an object. I, it wasn't as if I had just figured that out. But never mind. This is just in case I didn't. And of course, that's pretty obvious. So if I could lift this and put it through there, that would vaporize it. That's very fine. But how do I know it won't vaporize me? Well, there's only one way to find out. Will you vaporize my face? No, you will not vaporize my face. But I'll go back out through just in case and demonstrate that my face remains unvaporized. How nice. Oh, and padded walls. I have a feeling that these will be necessary for me as I continue on. But uh, never mind. Right now, these are just very simple, easy tests. We haven't even gotten to portals yet. Well, maybe one, but not in there. Hi, lighted thing. Aperture Laboratories. Where the future is being made today. Or something. 
Alright, here I am. Space Flight Deck Storage Cube on the 1500 megawatt aperture science heavy duty super colliding super button. That's a long name for it. Oh, oh, gimme, give gimme give the thing. Um, oh, now I can't get out again. Let me out! I just gotta wait until the portal opens up again, I'm guessing. Ah, thank you. I'm out! Now I gotta wait for the portal to open on the button. Ah! I'm in! There. Perfect. Please move quickly to the chamber lock, as the effects of prolonged exposure to the button are not part of this test. Well, I can't get out now because you turned off the portal to this room. Thank you for turning the portal back on. Now I've gotta wait for the portal to the door. Thank you. I am now through the door, or to the door, through the portal. Now, hello. Here is the the elevator. The elevator. Ah, testing. Sorry, I'm in a bit of a weird mood today. Uh, if you haven't, uh, if you haven't picked that up yet. Thank you. Blood. Okay. No, that hasn't happened to me yet. Hopefully it won't. Hello, camera! What's going on here? Oh, it's a thing! It's a thingy. I want the thingy. Aha! Are you gonna turn up? Um, what happens if I'm in the way? Nothing. <laughs> okay, fine. I had to find out. Can I take you? Are you mine now? Oh, goody! You are now in possession of the Aperture Science handheld portal device. It's mine! I will create a portal! I don't believe you. <laughs> what if I decide I'm going to do that? Okay, I won't... That actually seems like good advice. I'll follow that advice. Oh, I'm up here now. Can I, uh... <laughs> I'm taking this with me. Destroying you! Oh, that's what happens when I put you through the thing. <laughs> well, it said it would destroy it. I don't know really what I expected. Um, I got this thing about privacy, okay? I kind of like to do my testing in private, even though that's not really an option in this laboratory. So, um, yeah, when I see cameras, I want to destroy them. Hi. Heh <laughs> Oh. There's Please nothing. The <laughs> Mind the gap. I'll take you with me. Um. Oh, that's fun. I'll go through like that. <laughs> I'm taking you with me. You're my friend now. Um, can I gather up all of the cameras? You know what? I feel like defying you, GLaDOS. So, um... Destroying vital testing apparatus is exactly what I'm gonna do. That sounds vaguely sinister. I don't have a daughter, but if I did, I probably would not bring her with me into this place. We're just destroying all your cameras now.
The testing process will not be televised! And let's destroy this radio as well. I'm being a bad test subject right now. I'm destroying and wantonly um, uh, causing damage to property because I can. You're doing quite well. Aww. I, I was kind of hoping that I'd be able to activate the button using this. Oh well. Okay. Oh. Well, uh, let's, uh, let's just gather you guys over here. I wonder how much testing apparatus I have to destroy before it starts getting really angry with me. Um. Okay. I need this. I'll take you along. Uh, come here, Mr. Radio. Alright. I'll destroy cameras. I'll destroy radios. I'll destroy everything and anything that I can. Because... Thank you very much. Um, somehow I don't believe you, but I'm destroying your stuff. Yeah, you're not going to be speaking to me. Okay, so, what have we got? We've got our orange gateway, and we've got a couple of buttons. We've got a pit that has that. Hmm. And we've got a camera. <laughs> Ah, I knew you were monitoring me. I knew it. I knew how to get your attention. Okay, so I think what I need to do is get that over there and follow it through. Whoa! That's a change of perspective. Uh, okay. And we can place this on a button. We need both of them. So let's go over here. And then open one over there. There we go. See, I'm smart. I can figure things out. All I just gotta do is go back and forth sometimes. Come along, you're coming with me. As part of a required test protocol, our previous statement suggesting that we would not monitor this chamber was an outright fabrication. That's what I Good thought. Job. As part of a required test protocol, we will uh -huh. start enhancing the truth in three, two... Oh, wait a minute. I can. I can take them with me. All I need to do is just drop them through. Drop you through, drop me through, and first, the radio. I will destroy your music. I will destroy your cameras. Ah. Uh -huh. Yes, I destroy it all. I destroy all your testing apparatus because I am a menace to society and a menace to your scientific exploration and a menace to your property. And you know why I am all these things? Oh, that didn't have a sound. You know why I am all these things? Because I have been trapped here with no, uh, no, no consent from myself. I am trapped here. I am a prisoner. I didn't volunteer. Or at least I'd have no memory of it if I did. What are you, blowing ball? Okay. In other words, do not touch the glowing ball. Okay. So... Oh, oh. What's this? So... Yes, don't let glowing ball touch you. And don't touch glowing balls. 
not without their consent, and um, get Glowing Ball to go in slot. And that can't be taken wrong in any way whatsoever, and no one can tell me otherwise. Oh, that's useful. That's useful, because the thing has a, uh, a light. So I can just put the, the thing up there, and it goes into the pit. Okay, uh, fair enough. Um, I'm not sure whether you're being sarcastic or not, GLaDOS, because your tone of voice is not really a giveaway here. But you know what? That's okay. Because I'm going to have some... I'm just going to have some fun destroying your things. I didn't even check for things to destroy in that one. That seems pretty straightforward. Good. Now use the Aperture Science Unstationary Scaffold. Reach the How? I can't do that. That surface doesn't portal. Oh, but the ceiling does, I bet. Okay, okay. The ceiling does. So hop onto this thing. Awesome. I'm on this thing. And I can go over here now. I want to. I'd like to get in there, please. Is there a way I can get in there? I can't see any cameras. The cameras must be behind glass. They probably got sick of me destroying all their stuff, so now they're behind glass so I can't get to them. Because they're big spoil sport poopy heads. Please note that we have added a consequence for failure. Any contact with the chamber floor will result in an unsatisfactory mark on your official testing record, followed by death. Good luck. Okay, so the floor is, well, not lava, but I, it, that looks really bad. I don't want to get into that. That looks nasty. What is this? Okay, so the, the glowy ball is fired towards that. So... Oh, I think it's going to be timing now. Because that will open up from that. And then go through that. Nice! Ha-ha! I am a winner. Okay, so... Now I think i got to go some back and forth action. Because i got to go through the orange thing. And then put a blue one over there, and then just wait for the platform to come to me. Yes. It's a radio! Can I grab it? I can get it! Oh no! No! I didn't want to do that! Why did that do that? What the heck is, What the heck was that? I'm calling shenanigans. <sighs> what spoil sports are you? What a butthead is you that you didn't let me take the radio with me? Well, I'm gonna just follow this along and leave the radio behind, but I wanted to destroy your radio. Please note that any appearance of danger is merely a device to enhance your testing experience. I don't believe you. I've already died. The Enrichment Center regrets to inform you that this next test is impossible. Make yeah, I've heard that before. It. Well, if I don't make an attempt to solve it, I will not be able to continue along. So you know what? I'm going to do it. So, that thing is there. The Enrichment Center apologizes for this clearly broken test chamber. <laughs> um, yeah. Um, I'm taking this with me and ignoring you because ignorance is bliss and I am blissfully ignoring you. See? I'm clever. 
I have Once cleverness. Again, the Enrichment Center offers its most sincere apologies on the fantastic. You remain resolute and resourceful in an atmosphere of extreme pessimism. Well, thank you, but now I am moving on. Yeah, I'm no longer interested in destroying all the things. <sighs> that was fun for a few test chambers, but now I'm actually starting to get to puzzles where I actually have to think about them, so we can continue on. And why am I? Hello again. Hi! Momentum. Momentum. That's all I got from that. All right. Can't jump up there. So, um, there's a, a portal there. I think I can jump across. Hup! There we go. I jumped across. Oh. Oh. Um, okay. Well, I can get height, but I don't know if I could jump that far. Unless... They said moment... Oh, 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 look at this, look at this. We got hinty dues. Uh, drop, and you will soar like a beagle. So, if I... Okay. Yeah, yeah, I seem to recall in dim recesses of my memory that if I do that... Nice! You appear to understand how a portal affects forward momentum, or to be more precise, how it does not. Okay, that makes a certain amount of sense. Okay. Alright, we are moving that forward. But I don't see a... Oh, oh, the, the portal's down there. So we'll just put that at the top. So if we drop through the orange portal... Momentum. A function of mass and velocity is conserved between okay. portals. Okay. In layman's terms, speedy thing goes in, <laughs> speedy thing comes out. Uh, thank you for that uh, um, uh, caveman explanation for that. So if I drop down... <laughs> and I spin around in the air! Okay, I can see how that will be useful in later things. The Enrichment Center promises to always provide a safe testing environment. I don't believe you! testing environments, the Enrichment Center promises to always provide useful advice. For instance, when it's actually... The here will kill you. Try to avoid it. <laughs> Yes, I will get useful advice. Ah, so energy ball will kill you and floor will kill you. So don't do the thing where those will kill you. All right. So how do I get into that place? Oh, that way. Oh, okay. I get to go here. That is the thing I need. Oh. Okay. So, I need to get in there. Okay. That's how I do. I got in there. Oh, oh no. No, I see that. Okay. So... Where... How will I get it to where it's... Oh, oh, okay. Okay. I just have to wait until the portal opens there. And then I will put a blue portal over here. Come on, hit the thing. 
Yeah! Okay. Are you gonna shoot anymore? Better not. Alright. So when the orange porthole come to that, I can get on that. Alright! Alright! I'm glad it doesn't shoot anymore when it is connected with the thingy that it's supposed to connect to. But now I can has orange thing. Okay, good for you. You have overinflated the price of an extremely useful device, just like any other big tech company. Maybe I need to press that button? Something tells me I need to press that button. Something tells me I just wasted my time. Oh, the exit's up there. I see, because it's got the sign. I've got to read signs. I see the sign that says where I need to go. I see the sign. And I need to go to where that sign is. I think I need to press a button. Okay. Oh. Oh, crap. Okay. Well, I've I've placed the the, the portal there and the portal will stay so that's not a problem I just need to leave that portal there and wait for the slow platform to get here come on we've got science to do mr. platform why are you waiting wasting time making me wait my gosh well, actually, I've got all the time in the world. I'm captured. I'm imprisoned here. I have nowhere I can go. Hello? So I can basically put the portals anywhere I want and just sort of go like that. And maybe, um, you know, maybe uh, launch myself across the room. <laughs> <laughs> Whee! <laughs> Woohoo! Okay. Um, yeah, I, I guess I'd better uh, better stop futzing around and uh, move on. So now I finally have the full deal on the portal gun. I can shoot portals around willy nilly and have myself a great old time as long as it's a portable surface, which seems to be at a premium in this one. Well, fling yourself too! Why don't you go fling yourself, GLaDOS? Oh, oh, momentum time. Okay. So where am I supposed to fling myself to? I think I need to fling myself there. Woo! Ah, okay, okay. So, uh... This, this is how this, this area is going to work. Whee! Oh, I can get on top of this. But I need that. Hmm. Okay. Will that fling me at that trajectory? I mean, we seem to keep going in the same direction as, as the, uh, the, the things the, the thing that we uh, we place the portal on so why not let's try it oh good to remember if I see slanty wall it will launch me in an arc that's nice I like that okay I have I have blocky ball or not ball but, but block I have block block go on button I learned this in the first puzzle, in the first uh, aperture test.
was not expecting that. <laughs> Wee! <laughs> I thought I was the only one that did that. Wee! Okay. <laughs> oh, boy. Yeah. You know, I think this is a good place to pause it. We have gone through several portal tests already, and ew, things are about to get complicated. And here we are on 13, which is an interesting number to pause on. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to pause right here on test 13, because I have a feeling that this one is going to get complicated. And it's going to take a lot of my brain power to do. So we're going to uh, leave it here for the time being. Well, that's it for now for this experiment. I have to say it's it's been kind of a treat to delve back into Portal after so long. Um, is it just me or has the, uh, the visual quality um, improved? Or maybe I'm just on a better computer these days. Whatever, I'm loving it. So if you're loving it too, or at least liking it, please leave me a like and let me know. That really helps the channel. If you have a comment about this or any other experiment I might do in the future, leave that below too. Dr. Edenboden reads them, and he uses them to decide on what to do to me next. If you want to join our regular observation team, and we would love to have you, hit that big red subscribe button. And if you want to try out this experiment for yourself, I'll leave a link in the description. I'll see you in the next experiment. Farewell.